A measure of central tendency is one way to organize data so you can figure out what it's trying to tell you. In this video, I will cover three measures of central tendency, mean, median, and mode. A measure of central tendency is a single number that is used to summarize all the value of a data set. For example, you have a group of people. You may want to know if they're all close to the same age, or maybe what's the average height. Let's work an example. Let's work on what's the mean median mode of this family. The ages are 68, 10, 7, 40, 36, 2, 12, and 65. Let's first calculate the mean of the age. Mean and average are the same thing. So let's follow these steps. We're going to add all the numbers in the data set. We're going to divide by the total number of terms in the data set. And if there's a zero, it must be included. Okay, let's add all the ages together. Now let's divide by the number in the data set. And remember, if there's a zero, it would be included. So we have 240 divided by 8, and that equals 30. So the average age is 30. Now let's look at the median. The median is the number in the center of the data set when the numbers are in order from least to greatest. Let's follow these steps. We're going to arrange the numbers from least to greatest. Then we're going to cross off the greatest and least numbers in the list at the same time until you are left with just one number in the middle. This is the median. If there are two numbers left in the middle, then you find the mean or average of the two numbers. So let's find the median of the ages of the family. So here are the numbers, and uh, we're going to arrange them from least to greatest. We're going to mark off the numbers at the same time. And since we have an even number, we need to take the average of the two numbers in the middle. So the mean or average of 12 and 36 is 48 divided by 2, which equals 24. If you have an odd number, it would be just the number in the middle. Let's look at this example. Okay, so we're going to mark them off at the same time, and we have 10 in the middle, or 10 is the median. Okay, mode equals the number which occurs most often in a data set. There might be one mode, no mode, or many modes. Arrange the numbers from least to greatest order, and then see if any numbers repeat. The number that repeats most often is the mode. So what's the mode of the family? Let's arrange from least to greatest. So there are no numbers that repeat, so we have no mode. If you had this, then 7 would be the mode. And finally, let's figure out the range of this data set. Range is not a measure of central tendency. It's a measure of variation. So how much data varies between the greatest and the least values? The variation between the greatest and the lowest numbers in the data set. So let's find the greatest number and subtract the least number. So here's an example. What's the range of the family? Let's order from least to greatest. So the range is 68 minus 2 and it's 66. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.